I will show you how to find a good new construction community development. What is going on family? This is RJ Bautista, your favorite incredible realtor with LPT Realty specializing in new construction here in Central Florida. Today in this video, I will show you how to find a good community, not just about good community, a good new construction community development. And if this is you, make sure to watch this video from this start until the end so that you will learn and maybe you will think if this community is right for you. But before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome, please subscribe if you haven't done so and the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all family and friends especially for those people who's looking to move here in central florida and who's looking to buy a new construction house in a new construction community at the same time and also i would like to say here i am filipino nagtatagalog po ako kung may mga question kayo gawin nyo lang po i-text nyo ako sa number ko wag nyo po ako tawagan kasi marami akong spam ko na naririsig without further ado let's jump into it so number one that I would like to talk about here is the location of the community, okay? If you're gonna buy a property, always think about the location, okay? I always tell this to all my clients, to all my friends, to all my family, if they're looking to buy a new construction, buy a new construction in a good location, okay? When they are saying location, 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 that's correct. Because if you're going to buy a property in out of nowhere, and if you have to drive like an hour away to just to get a bottle of milk or eggs or, you know, some grocery and stuff do you think that will be worth it for you if you're gonna buy a new construction in that good unity however if you're gonna buy a new construction at the same time if the community is in a rough area or is in a good area the crime rates are high it's a flood zone area you need to consider that as well so i'm always telling to all my clients and to all the buyers or home buyers especially for the new construction out there just check the location okay how do you find if the location is good and how do you find if this new community or new community development and a new construction is good for you okay <clears throat> number one you need to think about it is when you're checking the location check the surrounding area of the whole community so what do you mean about that rj so here in central florida when they are building new construction in a community okay they will have some fence okay so this fence is border of what the community are going to build or is going to build so they will have like a border or fence where they're going to build their community and where the new construction community is going built at the same time and outside of that border or fence check the surrounding area okay so make sure the surrounding area is pretty good because sometimes if they building a new construction community in a bad surrounding area how do you feel if you're gonna live there okay i will give you some good example of this so once you see the new construction community and outside of the new construction community if there's a lot of i would say if i would say like mobile home or manufactured homes that's not a good sign for a new construction community to build up there because it's a lot of mobile home who's been cluttered everywhere and also one more thing if you're going to look around in the surrounding area where the border or where the fence are located at and you see a lot of industrial place or industrial company outside of the new construction community that's not a good sign because imagine if your new construction community is located like not far from industrial fabrication company what would you think if they are operating their business and once they are going if you're living in that property and what will happen is like you will hear a lot of noise a lot of sound you know would you be okay with that one so think about that location as well don't just look around in the actual property and also at the actual new construction community look around in outside of those surrounding as well and make sure you are comfortable with them all right so that's the number one tip and take note on that one so my number two tip is another one is the location if this new construction community is located near school okay especially if you have kids so if you have kids obviously you will need a school for your kid to go to school right so think about like 
what school or if this new construction community is zoned for school like for elementary school middle school or even high school okay so check it out if this new construction community are zoned in this particular school make sure if they are zoned for this school they are also acceptable for this new construction community your particular community are accepting the school in this particular area okay because here is the thing i experienced before that we're looking in New construction house here in the area that we want to be here that you want to be and the new construction community is just right next to the school which is really good right however this school is not for zone for this new construction community how come because this school is zoned for different location or different county compared to the new construction community which is a separated or different county okay so make sure that the same county and the same school zone are compatible to each other because sometimes when you look at the new construction community, the location, the location of this new construction community is zoned for, for example, Polk County. And the school is right next to it is zoned for Lake County. And they have the border there that they cannot take any residents from this particular county because this particular school is only zoned for particular county. I hope that makes sense. And you need to find the particular school which is located for this particular new construction community which is part of this same county which is the Pole County. Make sure to find that out because if you don't have a much information and you expect that new construction community is good for that school and then once you move in there and they will try to enroll your kids to that school and they will say no we're not accepting that because it's different county. So make sure you do your due diligence first before accepting any offer or putting an offer to your new construction house. Okay, That's my number two. Take note on that. Let's go to my number three is is like check this community if this community is a flood zone free okay i always tell this to my clients check it out if this new construction community is a flood zone area or if it's not a flood zone area because this is a huge thing imagine if you are going to live in a new construction house in a new construction community however you didn't know that this new construction community or new construction house is a flood zone area how would you know that either you will ask your realtor who's helping you to find this property or as the agent of the new construction community if this community is a flood zone free or flood zone x okay we have like two different kind of flood zone here the flood zone x and the flood zone ae okay so the flood zone x is it means like this not a flood zone area however if it's a flood zone ae it means this particular community is a flood zone area so some new construction community what they do is they will Will put a new construction community there even though it's a flood zone area however what they do or what they does is they elevate the high level of land so that once they reach the high level of land it means like this particular community is a not flood zone area anymore okay they will have a certificate from the FEMA who is like having a inspection to that particular community if they pass this new construction community to flood zone area because this is huge if you don't know if your new construction community is a flood zone area and then once you live in there once the heavy rains come over or the storm or hurricane and then next thing what you feel is like you know water's coming inside of your property which is not so good right so make sure that you check if it's this is a flood zone area or a not flood zone area I very very recommend this one because this is, could be a very headache if you are going to buy new construction in a flood zone area. Even though it's a new construction, make sure you do your research, you do your diligence. By doing this, help us the realtor who's helping you finding your new construction house. Okay? So that's my number three tip and take note on that one again. And last thing but not the least for my number four is when you're looking at new construction property, make sure to find a new construction realtor who's specializing in new construction right that who could help you all this stuff that i just say all this stuff that i just mentioned this is only the basic you need to find a good realtor who will represent you to find the, this new, new construction community to get you the best deal as well i am not saying to hire a very very good new new construction realtor however you need to know that this particular person or a realtor who's willing to help you has more knowledge about specializing in new construction 
question because when you say realtor there's a lot i would say million of realtor out there who's doing selling or buying houses helping clients however you need to find out in the particular property that you would like to buy because if you don't know that this particular realtor who's helping you doesn't have much knowledge obviously at the end it will be hard for you to, de to distinguish and get all the information that you need before buying the property or the new construction property make sure to ask questions because if you don't ask you don't know the answer and also the bonus thing that i would like to say here i am specializing in new construction here in central florida and i don't represent any builders out there a lot of people when they say i am a realtor and also you might find a sales agent in that particular community that is a realtor but they are working from the builder however if you're going to get like a realtor who's not working for a builder that they can represent you and give the best interest for you and negotiate on your behalf to make sure that all your needs and all your wants will be out there and will be credited to the builder okay so this is the video for today i hope this video is helpful and useful and also if you have any more questions feel free to text me and don't call me because like sometimes when you call me i receive a lot of spam calls so it's better to text me and when you text me i will make sure that i will reply you as soon as possible because when you text me i am pretty much sure that you are not a spam call and you are very serious about buying a new construction house and i'll be happy and i promise you to help you with my best knowledge and also my best experience as well so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on my next video i'm out for today peace what is going on guys look at this Woo. you like okay. it okay this is my new sticker. No one just having this, but I just want to give this as my blue first for today. And we just get this from Amazon. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> nice. <laughs>